afternoon. We are out and about today and the Winterton 550 rollback and we are at Bryce Canyon National Park, which is about a hundred miles from my home base. We run out here to grab a Chevy Silverado that has a water pump that failed. We're gonna haul it back to the shop and get her fixed today. But man, I have seen it all today. We've been in rain, snow, sunshine. When I left, it's been a beautiful day in Southern Utah. I've seen the variety show. I was able to drive through Zion National Park on the way here. Then I get a drive through Grand Canyon National Park, uh, Orderville, Glendale. I waved to the guys and the gals at Fab Wraps when I went through their turf over there. But uh, we've been up and down the road pretty busy the last, last couple weeks. And so we thought we'd turn the camera on today and show you a little bit of uh, where we're at today. What a beautiful place we live. Utah is something else. So we'll get up the road today and we'll take you along for the ride. Oh man, there's a car in the ditch. Good doggy, that was a trip. Jeez. Tesla too. <laughs> Tow trucks everywhere. Oh, Holy cow, there's more, more of them. All right, I made it out to Bryce Canyon and back. It's no big deal. You guys got a little scenery shot there, but now we need to go get this Lincoln later that day stuck on a rock. I just need to get the angle of the dangle. I'm going to use the rollback to push these two big old lava rocks out of the way. And then you can see his vehicle is completely off the ground. So we're going to finagle it around in there and see what we can do to get the chingadero with the hoot nanny all lined up and get her back on the rollback. All right, I think I'm lined up where I want to be. I'm going to try to get the front end of the vehicle picked up a little bit. It's already off the ground, so I was able to sneak the rollback right underneath there, and then I'm going to kind of pivot everything around and get it pulled up on there. The vehicle won't run. I think the inertia switch went off on the fuel tank, so we're going to see what we can do to get it onto the rollback without it doing any further damage, and then we'll get it back to the shop and get it checked out, see what we can do to get them back on the road again. Here you go, I'll give you a really good shot of the back of my head there. And uh, maybe after I edit this for a little bit, it'll be consumable. But as of now, I'm gonna have to move the camera around and uh, hopefully you guys will be able to see what I'm doing after I get out of the way. Ah, there we go. Now you can see something besides my backside.
dust it's a beautiful sunny day about 65 degrees in beautiful southern Utah we're headed out here to pull a vehicle back on the trail I think he got himself in a little situation where he slid off and he's nervous to keep messing around for the fear that he'll run it off the road and tumble down in the bottom so we're gonna get up the road and see where we end up but it shouldn't be no big deal just kind of pulling back or winching back on there but man what a beautiful place we live Historic Honeymoon Trail.
this has been powder coated probably. Yeah. And it, it's not very magnetic when it's powder coated. Come on, Ford. Okay, so I like to use the Factor 55 hitch link 2.0 in that receiver hitch there, and then I'll put a snatch block on it. We'll run it back to the lower front differential and winch him back over onto the trail. That'll give me some good uh, direction change and uh, plenty of pull to get him, get him back on the trail again. You can see I got my snatch block hooked up and I'll uh, get hooked up to the front differential and we'll be in good shape. I may have him get in the machine and help me a little bit with the brakes and with the drive. We'll see how it goes here.
phone number don't work and it hasn't worked and it will never work. So they didn't feel comfortable continuing up the trail so down the trail we go in reverse for about a half mile or so just watch your mirrors and go nice and slow some of this uploaded to the old YouTube. I sure appreciate all the support on the channel and I really appreciate all the members who sign up and uh, give me a little bit every month for the uh, membership. I sure appreciate that support and it's what makes this channel possible is by the support and the viewership. So I really appreciate all the support. And we will catch you all on the next one. Crashed my camera. Oh, hi, there you are. Lost you on a bush. <laughs>